per usual, I'm walking to the gym. I am filming today's What I Eat in a Day on Monday. You guys will see this actually when I'm in Hawaii. So I'm pre-filming this a little bit. This is actually my last walk to the gym upper body day before my trip. So when you actually see today's video, I'm on a beach in Hawaii, not gonna lie, enjoying my vacation, taking a little bit of a break from working out, giving my body a little bit of a rest. So today I'm actually walking to and from the gym, doing upper body. I am going to kill this upper body workout since it's my last one until I get back from my trip. I already had my protein coffee this morning. I did a muscle milk vanilla cream protein shake with my four shots of espresso, collagen, and Just Better Fiber. I'm actually packing little packs of collagen and Just Better Fiber to take with me to Hawaii so that I have them for my coffees on the road. They're just staples for me. Collagen and fiber, absolute essentials for me every single day. So I'll link the muscle milk shakes. I buy those off of Amazon. I've never seen them in store, at least the vanilla cream flavor. And I'll link collagen and fiber down in the description box for you guys as well. I'm just swamped leading up to my trip with nutrition coaching. I have to pre-film and edit videos. I actually leave on Thursday. And like I said, it's Monday. I, I leave at like four in the morning on Thursday. So we're down to the wire. So we have a super, super busy day today. There are a couple of new things that I wanna share with you. I actually got a supplement that I have been obsessed with relating to sleep. So if you suffer with falling asleep, staying asleep like I do, this supplement, godsend. Like amazing, amazing. I got a new electric toothbrush. I have lots of things to share with you. So let's go to the gym and get this final upper body workout in before vacation. And then we'll go home, have some breakfast. Funny how the story goes, little hope of bigger dreams uh, They try to bring a sucker down, singing louder than the crowd It's time for breakfast. I am dressed. I am ready for the day. I will go ahead and link my top down below. I hauled this in my most recent Shein fall try on haul. I'll link that video for you guys as well. This top is like $6 and it has this really cute scalloped sleeve and I really like it. It can be dressy. It can be not dressy. You can really wait and it's perfect for fall with that kind of pumpkin orange color. Speaking of pumpkin, I'm really excited for breakfast this morning. We're going to try out a new product that I picked up from Target and that is the Birch Benders Pancake and Waffle Mix in Pumpkin Spice. You know I love pumpkin spice anything, like literally anything. And we're going to cook it in this cute little guy right here from the brand Dash. This is the pumpkin mini waffle maker. Look how cute that is. We're making pumpkin waffles in a pumpkin little mini cooker. How fun. I'm going to go ahead and make myself a pumpkin waffle. This particular mix only has four grams of protein. So I'm going to have to add a little something extra to my breakfast to get in a little bit more protein. So I'm going to pair my waffle with some of my favorite cottage cheese, the good culture cottage cheese. And then I'm going to actually top it with some fresh blueberries to get in some healthy carbs and some fiber. So I am super excited to test this out. First impression, taste test, and of course, try out my new little Dash Mini Waffle Maker. I will link both of these products down below for you. So a serving is a quarter cup of the waffle mix. And then it says to do a quarter cup of water as well and then some oil. I'm gonna skip the oil and just add a quarter cup of water. I will say it smells really good. I can smell the pumpkin, the nutmeg, the cloves. And then give that a quick stir. I'll get my little cute pumpkin waffle maker warming up. Look how cute this is. It's even orange and then look. <gasps> Isn't that adorable? Oh my gosh, I am super, super excited. So I'm gonna get this plugged in. It says, it came with this little thing that says pro tip 
three tablespoons of batter is perfect for pumpkin. So we may actually get a couple of waffles out of this because this is definitely more than three tablespoons. So you can see that the green light is on, which is also very fun because it's whole pumpkin themed. When that goes off, the waffle maker is ready to go. I always spray mine with some nonstick cooking spray before adding in my pancake and waffle mix. So I'm going to add what was recommended about three tablespoons of the batter. So it looks like we're actually going to get two little pumpkin waffles out of this, which is perfect. Shut your lid and then again, when the light turns on, it is done. And I will tell you, it smells so good. Oh, there we go, lights off. It smells like pumpkin. This is, okay, this is adorable. Look how cute that is. Okay, so one down. I am going to add a little more nonstick cooking spray and add the rest of my batter. So that quarter cup serving is perfect for two of the pumpkin waffles. All right, so here's my breakfast. Oh my gosh, these are so adorable. How fun and festive for fall would be really, really great for kids. And those little dash make waffle makers are super, super affordable. Again, I'll link it down below for you. I did weigh out 110 grams, which is one serving of the cottage cheese, 50 grams of blueberries. I topped my little waffles with some of the butter spray. I really like this. It's zero calories, zero points. I just put a couple of sprays. And then for syrup, I'm using the Kanto maple. This is my favorite. This legit tastes like maple syrup. 10 calories calories in two tablespoons and zero point. So I have a couple tablespoons of Lakanto maple syrup. I sprayed with some of the butter spray. It made two waffles, which is great. I will go ahead and points calories protein here on the screen for my breakfast. I will also link Lakanto down below for 15% off site-wide on anything you want, including the maple syrup. So let me, let's go ahead and taste test this Birch Benders waffle and pancake mix. All right, taste test. First impression, I had not used this yet. I was saving it so that I could share it with you guys in today's video. Cheers. Wow. Wow. That is so good. It tastes like full sugar pumpkin spice waffle mix, like what you can buy at stores like Trader Joe's, and I think even Krusty's makes one. Wow, you're getting four grams of protein, only 140 calories. It is so good. I taste pumpkin, cinnamon, all the pumpkin pie spices. Wow, this is incredibly delicious. Again, I bought mine at Target. I'll link it down below for you. I'll see if I can find the most affordable, convenient option for it in case you don't have the option to go to Target or your Target doesn't carry it. I am going to be eating this a lot this fall. So I'm pre-packing for my trip. I actually leave here in a couple of days. So I'm really thinking through what do I want to bring for my trip? How many bathing suits do I want to bring? What clothes do I want to bring? What beauty essentials do I want to bring? Because honestly, I'm probably not going to be wearing makeup a whole lot other than to the wedding that I'm going to. And then of course, when we go to the luau, but I plan on spending a lot of time with sunscreen on my face, sun in my face, a sun hat and a bathing suit. But I wanted to think really thoroughly through the beauty and toiletry products that I need to take. I am an overpacker and a lot of times I bring way too many things so I am really navigating through essentials that I need to take. I'm going to actually start packing up those today and it reminded me to tell you guys about my new electric toothbrush that I have been loving. It is from the brand Cheese. Like when you take a picture, I love it. I think it's so cute. Can we just talk about the color? They have some really fun colors. This fun kind of like peachy orange color, white, black. This electric toothbrush is better than my Sonicare. And I have a Sonicare, it's old. I was actually going to buy a new Sonicare because it really does help clean my teeth thoroughly. Even my dentist has made several comments about how much better my teeth are now that I use an electric toothbrush. And then I discovered the Cheese brand and I was like, this is adorable and it's so much cuter. It's an ultrasonic toothbrush and it is so much more affordable than the Sonicare. Even on the best of the best Costco deal, the cheese electric toothbrush is so much more affordable. What is amazing about this, and another reason why I purchased this instead of a new Sonicare, is the charge on this lasts for 300 days, almost an entire year. I was finding that I had to charge my Sonicare all the time. And with the cheese, it lasts almost an entire year. It uses Type-C USB charging, and the toothbrush, again, on a single charge can last 
up to 300 days. It has up to a 37,000 vibrations per minute. It comes with an extra three individualized brush heads as part of the package. It comes with a travel case and the brush heads for optimal, better, and cleaner brushing. It has three different cleaning modes, sensitive, gum care, and teeth protection. The cleaning mode uses a micro vibration deep cleaning and the white mode has an intense stain removal option. It's super lightweight. It comes with a travel case that is waterproof, perfect size for one toothbrush and two replacement heads. So you can actually take a couple different heads with you for travel. It's flexible. It fits in your luggage. They offer a two free brush head replacement program for cheese community members. It's super easy to charge anywhere using a standard USB port. So I can take this with me to Hawaii and I can charge it literally in the USB port on the light in the hotel room. And I love that it came with the travel case so it's easy to take with you. The four heads that come with your Cheese Ultra Care toothbrush is the Ultra Care brush head. This one is super soft charcoal black bristles by Toure. They're specifically designed to remove surface stains and rapid removal of tartar between the teeth with extra protection on enamel in the gums. And then there's the 3D clean brush head. This provides deeper cleaning with micro vibration and removes up to 20 times more plaque in hard to reach areas with the rounded end design. There's the smart clean brush head, which has a smart blue indicator on both ends. So you can simply replace the head when the blue color fades. I love this because I always forget to replace the heads of my toothbrush. And then there's the all around protection head. This is a food grade silicone wrap brush head that reduces the shock when brushing. It provides full protection for sensitive gums and teeth. The replacement heads are so affordable. The Sonicare ones are ridiculously expensive. And that was another reason why I gravitated towards the Cheese Electric toothbrush. And it just works really well. I love the different heads. That's another feature that I didn't have on my old toothbrush. And like I said, they're super affordable to purchase the replacements. So I cannot recommend it enough. If you're in the market for a new electric toothbrush, I'm actually going to hop online and buy Troy a black one. I've been trying to get him to switch to an electronic toothbrush and this one because it has so many great different head options for different cleaning of your teeth. I know that he is going to love it and it is so incredibly affordable. I will link it down in the description box. Any discount information as well as the link to order it Highly, highly, highly recommend. It is definitely being packed away for my trip. For a morning snack, I'm actually gonna have a healthy eating all the time and go bar. I love these. I just placed a huge order of all of the ones that contain lots and lots of protein. So this is actually the peanut butter low carb protein bar and chocolate mint. I love this. If you love mint and chocolate together, you are going to love this. The ingredients in these bars are absolute perfection nice and clean 210 calories 15 grams of protein really really good i actually have to hop on a coaching call so i'm going to eat this before during and after that as my morning snack i'll put all the information here on the screen and i do have a 10 percent discount with healthy eating all the time and go bars and i'll throw that down in the description box for you as well i can't recommend these enough if you want a clean protein packed bar so troy got a new car i call it his midlife crisis car just lovingly call it his midlife crisis car. It's a 2021 Dodge Challenger uh, Scat Pack 392. So it's a muscle car. That is why I call it his midlife crisis car. He's super excited. I'm gonna, he's actually heading to pick me up a coffee from Duncan and to get some cash for our granite guy that's coming today. So I'll get a little video clip for you when he pulls it out so you can see it a little bit better. It's really loud and rumbly and it's this cool or olive green color. Do you love your new car? He loves it. She loud. <laughs> he says the louder the better. And he's off. So here in just a little bit, we actually have a contractor coming over to install 
brand new granite countertops in our two bathrooms. We wanted to put granite countertops in our master bath and our guest bath for a long time. When we bought this house, there was no soft water system. And I've mentioned this before that the water here is so incredibly hard. Well, we have put in a soft water system, but the faucets and everything in our bathrooms, especially the whole shower setup in our spare bathroom, is so corroded with hard water. I have scraped it, I have soaked it in vinegar. Nothing helps. So we decided since we have guests coming towards the end of the year that we want to make sure that we get our bathrooms up to snuff, especially the one that our guests will be using. We ended up purchasing new sinks, new faucets for both bathrooms and a complete new shower setup for our guest bathroom. So it's been a process. We picked out the granite, they picked it up, they've cut it, and now today they're coming to install it. So I thought I'd give you like a little before and after of the countertops. And then we have the plumber actually coming later this week to install the faucets and put the new shower system in the guest bathroom. The granite people don't do that. So we ended up having to hire a plumber to come in and do the rest of the setup. But I can't wait to get rid of the old hard water faucets and shower system. So this is what's currently in our guest bathroom. So this is actually a quartz material. It's just really old, it's stained, it's super, super dated. And you can see that the sinks are stained, we cannot get them clean. And even the drain, it's just all the coloring and everything is off of it. And then look at all the hard water on the faucet. I have scraped up in here and it's just coated in hard water. We just can't get it off. And the shower, the shower head also just covered in hard water and then even as you can see like all the knobs and everything to turn on the shower is just really 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 laden with hard water and the drain down here is all discolored the coloring is gone so we're replacing everything in this bathroom and we also opted for an above counter sink like a bowl style sink I think that's going to look really really nice in here so that will all be done today all the sinks and everything will be installed the faucets will be in place just not hooked up so you'll actually get to see what it all looks like at the end of the day today with the exception of course of the shower and here is the master bath so this is not quartz this is like a kind of plastic composite we have the same situation with the drains and the sinks and this one I literally scraped with a knife so it actually looks a little bit better than the spare bathroom but they definitely definitely need to be replaced and we are doing like our backsplash with our new granite about the same height as that so that is the before. Can't wait to see the after. So Troy brought me home a coffee from Dunkin'. It's just a black iced Americano with an extra shot. And I'm going to add in two tablespoons of my zero sugar pumpkin spice creamer. That's less calories, everything than ordering sweetener at Dunkin'. And I like this one. It's super, super good. And you know, I love pumpkin spice everything. Get Palmer, get him. Yeah, get him. Oh, he showed you his baby. Yeah, get him. Oh, I know, Maggie. Get your brother. Yeah, I know. Get him. Get him. Oh, squad, come here, it's okay. He's in a pair with your brother. Hey, Cray Cray. Hey, Cray Cray, Palmer. <gasps> this is your babies? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, they your babies. Oh, yeah. Not be bothered by the other dog's craziness, huh? Yes, I can't be bothered by these other dog's crazinesses. I was just resting. I'm old, so I was resting. So here is my lunch for today. I am having my meal prep, the chili that I made. In the Instant Pot, by the way, it is so good. Absolutely delicious, I ate it for dinner last night too. I did add a couple of tablespoons, you can see it under my crackers, of light shredded cheese, and then three just regular saltine crackers crumbled on top. So this is today's lunch. So after 
afternoon snack today is gonna look a little different. Troy and I are gonna taste test one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 pumpkin spice things that I ordered actually off of Target.com. If you watched last week's What I Eat in a Day, they have like two things at Target. So I went on their website and ordered everything pumpkin spice. I mean, we have a little bit of everything. So we're gonna quickly taste test everything, give you our thoughts, and check your local Target and even your local grocery store for a lot of these items. So the first thing we're gonna try is the Frosted Mini Wheats Pumpkin Pie Spice. Troy loves Frosted Mini Wheats, so he will probably really like these. I'm hoping that they have lots of pumpkin spice on them. Ooh, they smell good. So here's what they look like. So instead of the normal white frosting, it's kind of an orange pumpkin-y spice frosting. Cheers. <laughs> Mmm, they're good. It's not like pumpkin spice in your face. No, oh, but it tastes really good. It does say limited edition, so if you're interested, get them while you can. Next up, we're trying pumpkin spice Twinkies. I think it's been literally 10 years since I've had Twinkies. I don't even love Twinkies, so hopefully these <laughs> redeem themselves for me. So these are Ooh. Oh, 270 calories for two cakes. I was gonna say, holy crap. It's been like 10 years since I had a tweak. I know. Okay. Uh. So, innards are like pumpkin spice colored. Ooh, they smell, it smells really good, like cinnamon. Are you ready? <laughs> mm. It's okay. <laughs> kind of mushy. Yeah. Meh. It's not very pumpkin spicy. It's like cinnamon. Okay. Yeah, I could say you could skip these. I mean, maybe kids would like them in their lunch. I don't know what we're gonna do with them. Maybe give them to our neighbor. And then I made up in the microwave really quickly. I'm really excited. <laughs> I'm really excited about this. This is the Quaker Instant Oatmeal Pumpkin Spice. I am super excited to try this. They had the Target Good and Gather one. Here's a spoon. And I skipped out on it. I showed you guys it in the video, but I didn't buy it. So hopefully Quaker is good. Ooh, it smells pretty good. It's hot. Be careful. Yeah. Cheers. Holy shit. You're hot. <laughs> like a wobbly. <laughs> I even let it sit in it. It's good, but yeah. Mm. It's actually really good. So good to push <laughs> your tongue, yeah. It's hot, yay. Okay, so this winner winner chicken dinner, the pumpkin spice Jeez. oatmeal, really good. Next up comes from Werther's. These are the Harvest Caramel Pumpkin Spice Caramels. So Troy loves caramel, so I know that he'll eat these. You can have five of them for 140 calories. I'm just supposed to mix all this stuff. What? You're just supposed to mix all this stuff, I don't mm, think. Taking nice supposed to mix alcohol. We might have to have like a palate cleanser. Okay, so here's what they look like. Normal Werther's caramels. They smell good, smell like caramel. We have to try all this. Yeah, all of it. <laughs> it tastes like caramel. Yeah. Do you taste any pumpkin spice? Mm. I mean, it tastes really good, but it's definitely caramel, not pumpkin spice. Nyeh. Nyeh. Next up, Pepperidge Farms Milano Pumpkin Spice Cookies. I love the Milano cookies. These are also limited edition. Two cookies, 130 calories. All the dogs are around us staring at us because we have food. Pumpkin Spice Milano Cookies. Is that how you open it? <laughs> yeah, apparently. Here you go. I don't really taste pumpkin spice though. <laughs> you don't like it? So eating a cracker. Yeah. I don't like those at all. No. Not worth it. They taste literally like the regular Milano cookies, like the with the chocolate filling. They don't even taste like pumpkin spice at all. So that, that one's a pass too. We have pumpkin cheesecake cookies. Now this is right up Troy's alley. He loves cheesecake. Two cookies, 170 calories. These are the favorite day brand, which is the Target brand. They actually have really good stuff. They actually look good. So here's what they look like. 
<laughs> Ooh, okay, there we go. It's all good. Ooh, it smells good. Those are good. Those, these are good. I taste cheesecake, I taste pumpkin spice. Well, kind of dry, but. <laughs> They're sweet. These are better, these are definitely better than these. These over these. Now, we live in Arizona, as you know, so a few of our items came a little melted in the mail because I ordered these on the website. So this is, again, from the Favorite Day brand. This is the Scarecrow Crunch Trail Mix. So it says peanuts, peanut butter candy, milk chocolate covered, cereal squares, white chocolate, oat cereal, and milk chocolate marshmallow bits. So. One block. It's one block. I'm hoping the back, okay, it's not too terrible in the back, okay. So there's what it looks like, not melted. Ours is pretty melted, but we can at least get like the vibe of it. It smells very, very peanut buttery. Ooh. No almonds in there. No almonds. That's really good. That is actually really, really good. Well, I don't like chocolate, so. Well, it doesn't really taste like chocolate, it tastes like peanut butter. Well, it melted, anything's in chocolate. Yeah, I'll pass on this one. Troy's not gonna try it because the chocolate, but I will tell you, I love it. It's really good. It tastes like Czech cereal, or what's the crunchy, the cereal squares? Czechs? Yeah. Czech cereal covered in peanut butter. I actually really like this. This is really good. Quarter cup, 150 calories. I like this. You know it's melted. The other melted thing is from Favorite Day 2. These are, Troy might like these. These are the pumpkin spice yogurt covered pretzels. <laughs> I know. It's like a block it's, of ice. I know. Luckily, these are the only two things that came melted. Actually, everything else was good. Uh, oh, they don't look too bad. They don't look too bad. There's what they look like. They don't look terrible. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> They're just take... <laughs> oh, one chunk. Here. Here's one. Here. Here's one. Here's one. <laughs> here's one. We'll just split it because we're going to be pumpkin spiced out. Okay. Cheers. That's good. Ooh, those are really good. Yum. Okay, so five pretzels, no, six pretzels, 140 calories. These are really good. Pumpkin spice, I taste it. I taste like the yogurt covered pretzels. Winner, 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 winner. Make sure you have a hammer. Yeah, or don't live in a hot climate. Okay, three more things. Three more things. I actually bought these in a grocery haul. I've already tried these, but I want Troy to try these because I told you guys what I thought about these when I have them in my little taste test in my what I eat in a day. These are the goldfish crackers partnered with Dunkin' Donuts. So this is the pumpkin spice. By the way, why are we doing pumpkin? Because it's fall, y'all. It's September. It's fall. I mean October. It's fall, it's fall. So I told you guys that I really liked these, but I want to get his opinion. These are the pumpkin spice grams. So try those and tell me what you think they taste like. Have you tried it? Yeah, I've had them. Oh. Okay. Do you taste pumpkin spice? Not really, no. So I thought that these tasted like cinnamon graham crackers. I taste cinnamon, yeah. Yeah, like you know the honey made cinnamon graham crackers? That's what these taste like. I don't feel pumpkin spice, but they are really, really good. Like they taste really <clears throat> good, but they're definitely a little bit more cinnamony. Okay. Pumpkin overload here. I know, two more things. I love granola, as you guys know on my yogurt bowls. Uh, pumpkin pie granola, yes please. This is limited edition from Good and Gather, Target's brand. This better have pumpkin spice in it. Crunchy granola bit. That's good. I taste pumpkin spice. You taste pumpkin spice? Pretty good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, granola on yogurt. The best thing ever. Ooh, this is good. So it's 280 calories for three quarters of a cup, but you guys know I only put a couple tablespoons, so like one point worth. Really good. Last but not least, <laughs> Troy's over the pumpkin vibes. Okay, Frosted Pumpkin Pie Nature's Path Pop-Tarts. So these are the healthier version of Pop-Tarts. These are from this organic brand. I've had this brand before and it's actually really, really good. Is this our dinner tonight? This is our snack. <laughs> Could be dinner, actually, with a lot of food. This is all I'm having for an afternoon snack. It's not even October. So here's what they look like. It's still fall, come September. Okay, here we go. Ooh, they smell good. I, I didn't heat it up, so we're having just a plain Pop-Tart. Chocolate? No, it's pumpkin spice. Cheers. Yeah. 
I think it'd be better warmed, like in a toaster, like you're supposed to do. Yeah, probably. Because it's a toaster pastry. But it's really good. It has really good pumpkin spice flavor. And then it's not really dry like Pop-Tarts. I don't really like Pop-Tarts. So I think that this is pretty good. Are we done? We're done. That's it, you guys. <laughs> All the Target pumpkin spice moments. In the Clayton household, are you pumpkin spiced out and it's only September? <laughs> yeah. All right. We can talk about the September thing. So this is my afternoon snack, and Troy asked if this was dinner, so hope you guys enjoyed the taste test. We had some winner winners, and then we had some loser losers. Any final words? <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. I'm a little hungry this afternoon after our little taste test, so I'm going to have a protein shake as... My, my main afternoon snack along with taste testing everything. So I have this Shamrock Farms Rockin' Protein. It has 30 grams of protein. It's really, really good. It's 190 calories, but it's excellent. I don't know if this is sold everywhere, but I'm gonna have this before dinner. This will at least tide me over until dinner. Bark box is here. Palmer already saw me, so we better be quick on the stick because he knows that the box is here. This month's theme is Bark to School. How cute is that? Whole back to school theme. Oh my gosh, there's such fun stuff in here. These are all the different toys that you could have received. So it looks like we have a backpack and we have a Sharpie. Oh my gosh, how fun. It says Sharpie. So cute. So here's what's in the Bark Box. I'll link Bark Box down below for you guys with a discount code. If you have a dog, pick it up. It's well worth it. You get two toys, two treats, and then some type of special treat or bone every single month. So the first thing we have is the Bark Pack. How cute is this? It has like a little notepad on the inside. Oh my gosh, Palmer's gonna love that. There's no stuffing, so he won't be able to destroy it. There is this, uh-oh. Uh there is a squeaker. We better go quick. He's at my feet. And then this is adorable. We have the Sharpe, like the Sharpie, but it has, oh, it does have a squeaker and like crunchy bits in it. Oh, do you see the babies? You, okay, let's do a baby. Right? Should we do a baby? Okay, hang on. We're almost ready. So you got both of the little toys and then you always get two bags of treats. So we have the Magic Jerky Bars with sweet potatoes, blueberries, and cranberries. And then we have the ba ba Jerky Bars Lamb Treats. And then another one of the pumpkin and honey recipe bone things. We've gotten this every month for like the last four months, but my dogs really, really like this. So I'll go ahead and break this up and give them each a little piece. And then we will give Palmer a toy because he is impatiently waiting at my feet. Honey, do you want to give, um, okay, really quickly, look how cute this is. It says, do you lick me? Yes or no? The check mark. That's so cute. So Palmer either needs the Sharpie or the backpack. Which one? This one's like a, maybe this one because it could make less of a mess than this. Because yeah. I think this little guy might have some um, filling. I know, you're not the most patient little dog in the West. I know, hang on. Here, let me get a video. Hang on, we'll get a video of Palmer. Are you not very patient? No, you want your Sharpie? Oh, zoom in on you. Okay, sit. can you sit? Oh, good boy. Oh, oh no. Give it to me. Yay. Palmer, what you got? Pumpkin. Oh, he can't get it in his mouth. His mouth. Oh, he got it. Yay, good job, Bubba. Make your rounds, make your rounds. He usually gets the zoomies when he gets a new toy. Palmer, oh, what is it? Oh yeah, cool. Okay, everybody come here. Did you see it? Oh, good, it's yeah. This is one for you. Good job, Lisa. Good girl, good girl. So we still have people here installing granite and it is a 5.30 p.m. So I'm actually just going to have my protein bowl that I picked up at Sprouts for dinner. I don't have time to make dinner and with people coming in and out, it's still pretty hard. So sometimes life calls for convenience and this is actually a super healthy choice. So this is from Cedar Lane, the chicken shawarma bowl. It has 22 grams of protein. So it'll be really great to help get in a little bit of extra protein. And then I'm going to have protein in tonight's dessert to finish out my goal for the day. I always, always hit my protein goal. So this is 310 calories and again, 22 grams of protein. 
nice clean ingredients. It sounds super, super good. So I'll show you guys what this looks like all warmed up and that will be dinner. So I wanted to share a supplement with you guys that I've been taking now for about 30 days and it has literally changed my life. You know I share a lot of supplements here on my channel. I take a BCAA after my workouts. I put collagen and just better fiber in my coffee every morning. I take a green supplement. But one thing that I really, really struggle with, and I've talked about this a lot on my channel, on my nutrition channel, is I struggle with sleep. I can usually get to sleep, but once I wake up, whether it's two hours later, four hours later, one in the morning, two in the morning, I have a hard time going back to sleep. So I've tried a lot of different supplements. I've tried magnesium, I've tried sleep gummies, and nothing works for me. And we know how important sleep is with how we feel every day, but really how important sleep is when it comes to weight loss and weight management. If we get less than six hours of sleep in a night, we are reaching for processed carby foods to give us energy, which is the opposite of what we want to do on a health journey. So I have been on the hunt for a sleep supplement that actually works, and I finally found one. And I have to share it with you guys because like I said, it has literally changed my life. It is from the brand Stelace, and this is their Night Capsules Sleep plus less stress. It is an all natural sleep supplement that not only helps you fall asleep, stay asleep and sleep soundly, it also helps your body decompress from all the stress throughout the day. And I have been absolutely loving this. Real sleep is more than just passing out or knocking yourself out. Stelace has actually combined ancient and modern ingredients with the latest science for regenerative sleep. Each ingredient in Stelace Night Capsules targets a different part of the sleep puzzle, delivering conscious sleep and clear mornings, not cover up fixes. So it's a natural research-based supplement that actually works for sleep. Drift to sleep, stay asleep, and wake up in your natural flow. Also prevents you from waking up several times throughout the night. Research behind ingredients reveals low, lower cortisol levels, encourage GABA production and potential cognitive protection. It contains aptogens, nootropics, and biotanics to complement every part of sleep health. It's designed for restorative sleep cycle. It's vegan, bioavailable, no artificial colors, flavors or fillers. It is all natural. There's no calories, no nothing questionable in this at all. And like it says, it's regenerative sleep. So it helps you wake up feeling refreshed. I can't praise this product enough. I have been so busy getting ready for my trip. I'm just busy all the time and my mind just works constantly. And what was happening is I was waking up in the middle of the night and my mind was starting to work. And I kept thinking about all the macros I needed to do, all the emails I needed to answer, all the things I needed to do. And I was just having a hard time falling asleep and staying asleep. Not anymore. I fall asleep, I stay asleep, and I wake up feeling better than ever. And it's really helped with my weight loss because I'm not reaching for snacks that I don't need that are full of processed ingredients and carbohydrates to give me energy because Stelace has given me energy and I wake up feeling refreshed and energized for the day. What you do is you take two capsules 30 to 5, 45 minutes before going to bed. Once I started taking this for about five nights, I really started to feel the effects. And after about 30 days or four weeks of usage, it is just complete game changing, mind blowing, the difference in my sleep quality and how I feel in the morning. It ends up being about a dollar a day when you utilize the subscribe and save, which is which is what I do. It just comes to my doorstep every month because honestly, I never want to be without this. My sleep has never been better. My energy has never been better. My stress levels are decreased. It really truly has been magic for me. And I love it so much that I had to share it with you guys. I always like to share my favorite supplements. I will go ahead and put discount information, all the information here on the screen. I'll link it down below for you. Please try this out. If you suffer with going to sleep and staying asleep, I'm telling you this little bottle right here will be a complete lifesaver for you. So this is tonight's dessert to finish out my protein goal. Sometimes I get to have what I want for dessert and sometimes I have whatever finishes out my protein for the day. So this is the Oikos Triple Zero Salted Caramel Yogurt. This is actually really good and really a good sweet treat for dessert. Funny how the story goes, little hope of bigger dreams. Uh, they try to
So that's a wrap on today's What I Eat in a Day on WW. It was an interesting day. It was an unexpected day. I actually planned on making dinner, but the people who installed our granite were over two and a half hours late. They would have been out of here by dinner and they're still here and it is the evening. So sometimes we just have to do what we have to do to get our protein in and our calories for the day. I feel like overall I was still able to make really, really good protein, really, really good food choices. I met my protein goal today, was within my calories for today and honestly I wasn't super hungry today which is a little bit abnormal for me on days that I lift weights I'm usually super hungry and can't get enough food today was just a day that I wasn't super super hungry so it actually worked out really good that I had to rely on some healthy convenient food options today and it also shows you that sometimes life happens and we have to make adjustment adjustments and we can't always have exactly what we want but that doesn't mean that we can't still reach our goals so if you enjoyed today's video give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're not because I do a what I eat in a day every single Wednesday I will link everything I shared with you today down in the description box with discount codes all of the information. You'll also find nutrition coaching. I recommend calories and macros for sure. And I have one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links and discounts to my other favorite things and come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. Thank you so much for watching friends and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.